do you do you find as an artist that spearheading a project like this just not only distracts you creatively but do you feel that it eats into your you know it's scary to think that first and foremost you are David Buckland head of cake farewell rather than David Buckland artist yeah yeah, I've been, I've been worried about it for the last six months because this one took so much effort that I've been distant from myself. But then art comes in waves, you know, and you suddenly you crash, you do something very f engaged and then you need some time back from it. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm in a time back from it kind of position. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, the other... Th there is so much happening in doing Cape Farewell to me as an artist. I mean, you've talked about, you know, in a way, this is, you're just engaging in it, and it's like, you know, how do you, how do you treat something like climate change mm. as an artist? And you find out, first of all, you can't go head on to it. You've got to come up around the mm. side. You've got to kind of go in a parallel life. Or, mm. But if you take it flat on, you kind of just get into illustration or propaganda or all those terrible pitfalls. So you've got to find another way of getting at it. Um, and that, since I've been doing it for the last six, seven years, has been phenomenal because it suddenly shifted the whole of my art practice into a different new yeah. territory and that has been really exciting and I haven't even kind of I'm not there yet I'm not really down there yet how does that resonate with you because you the other night you talked about how you are going to be as a as a, as a person living yeah and kind of adjusting your lifestyle but I know you've written a couple of songs yeah I have Def I've, I've had direct output during the trip and I have written I've written a song and I've 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 realized that another piece that I'd already written was really appropriate to finish from my experiences here and I mean it's a, it's a fantastic creative source environment. being in this environment yeah, yeah. Um, the thing that's been really good for me I think is that I have acknowledged that the criticism that gets leveled at you that you're becoming an eco bore that you know I just shut up and play you know the the get off your high horse and you know you're just yeah, a singer what do you know I, all that kind of criticism I am gonna go home and really be quite happy to just ignore now what's with the okay so what's the song about I mean, not about yeah. Where uh, the is song, where? the song, which is called Five Cold Years" in brackets in Umanak, um, was when we went to Umanak <coughs> for the day, and it it was an amazing place with this children's home where this big Viking guy called Rene from Denmark has just gone there. He went for a few months, fell in love with the place, with a woman, has a family, learned Greenlandic looks after these 30 lost children and is bringing them up. You know, with 57,000 people, you imagine 30 kids being brought up by that guy having quite a, an astonishing effect on the country. I mean, anyone... You, know, you feel like none of those kids are going to go down the road that they would have gone down in their incredibly difficult social circumstances that led to them being in the home in the first place. You just feel like he's really creating well-balanced so people that... in there and it was just a beautiful environment it was a beautiful day it's the first time we saw any sun and that was we didn't even miss it so when it came out and there's this yellow on your face and it's just everything explodes and uh and i loved I mean, the first time i saw the northern lights it was the you know a special place and i just really had a feeling that i could live there See, that's what I think when, <clears throat> when I talk about the never meet climate head on. See, you didn't once mention the science, you didn't once mention carbon dioxide, but you, you mentioned all the time about the way you live or could live or dream about living, yeah. and that's what you wrote the song about. So, but I think there's, do you think there's North and South people? Because I know that myself and I know Luke, and that if, if you play the either or game, like dogs or cats. Yes. What? Dogs or cats? Oh, dogs. Me too. Uh, indoors, outdoors. Outdoors. North or south? North. 